So this week we're going to start things a little bit differently. Um, we're going to answer some of the questions that we've had from you guys, which we are grateful for. Any way that we can try and help, offer some support or advice. Don't be afraid, just get in contact. How do um, we manage to have a normal life? Well, our life is normal. Well, I suppose what is normal these days. Um, but yeah, we don't let anything get in the way of the boys. They do the same as all of their friends. Cody does the same as every other six-year-old little boy does, the same as Kingsley will when he grows up. Do you do anything different from your friends, Cody? No. And that's the way we'll, we'll keep going with them. You know, obviously they've got their illnesses and their ailments, but we don't let that define them. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't define anyone in any way. You know, you can do what you want and, and join in like everybody else. Quite a lot of you have also asked about medicines, how we keep track of everything. We've actually got a little chart that we've made on our fridge that lists um, both of the boys' medications, when they're supposed to have them, the amount to make sure that we keep on top of things because, as you can imagine, sometimes Kingsley has medicines four times a day, Cody only has them twice a day, so you have got to keep on, on top of those. But again, once the ball starts rolling, you sort of get into a routine and sometimes you do it without even realising. Another question we get asked quite frequently, um, obviously with cystic fibrosis, um, People with cystic fibrosis can't mix, they can't um, socialise or associate with each other because of their germs and genetic makeup and things. I think I've mentioned to you previously. Well, siblings, obviously, they have the same sort of genes, um, so they're not affected between each other. But if, say for example, Cody was at a school party and there was another child there with cystic fibrosis, they wouldn't be allowed to play together and more than likely one of us would have to leave or both of us. Again, because if they were to share germs, um, one coughed on another or anything like that, then we could be in pretty big trouble. It could make both kids really ill. So that's, that's another problem really, and I know that a few of you have asked, like, how do you know if someone's got CF? The big pointer we look out for is one pointer. Anyone you think may have CF, look out for the Creon. Um, usually they don't mind you going up and asking, saying, did your little one or someone in your past who's got CF? Just so you know, because they will be aware of the situation as well. Yeah, no, it's snowing in sunny Wales. We still got a hospital appointment to get to. And, you know, we've never stopped the Eskimos, and it's not even that bad, to be honest. Everyone on the weather, like, oh my god, no, snow. <laughs> but yeah, shame the boys, Cody School's still open, no, but happy days. Kingsley has got his uh, contrast today, which is a procedure where they put a dye through his, either through his mouth or up his bum, I'm guessing. I won't near the last time they done it. But I know it's a dye that goes through the inside of his like intestines just to see what's going on in there. So if there's like a blockage, a narrowing, you know, the way it's going. So we'll see how that goes, hopefully. Everything's all good. Even with the snow, like a rally drive down here, like warm, warm. <laughs> no, even with snow, we still gotta get to these appointments. But obviously, if it was that bad, then no. Okay, so we're back from the hospital from the contrast, but it's it's called um, a loopogram. Um, it's pretty much what how I said it was, but. I did want to try and film it in there, but to be honest, I, I sort of shit out, so I didn't ask. I was a bit scared. The woman scared me. So I'll try and show you how they did do it in there. They, obviously, they got an x-ray machine, which, you know, x-rays the liquid going through. So I, For some reason, I thought I had a, the dye was going to be blue, but it wasn't even... It is dye, but it's clear, so it's like liquid, really. Um, so yeah, if I can just switch the camera. So what they did was, like I said, in, um, they put the liquid, but unfortunately for you Kingsley, they went up his bum. 
which you know for me it was a bit worrying that he didn't even flinch but he went up his bum so they keep taking x-rays of it going up his bum the syringe then she squeezes through like a liquid um, like liquid which is the dye which goes it's pretty cool really I, I wanted to be able to show you so you could see it but you can see the small intestines working it's like a snake really going right the way up um, till it comes out of this hole because this is the hole that connects the eventually when they connect this hole to the hole in his bag that he poos out of that will then become one which will zigzag down or you know come out of his bum then so the contrast went up there around all his little intestines and then come out the liquid come out of here was was supposed to but it didn't in Kingsley's case so there was a, a tip that I could tell you people who are gonna have a contrast or a loopogram for the kids don't recycle in the morning because normally when you recycle I know it's you take the poo and you push it back through here the mucus fistral so that obviously his small intestines where we just where we had the contrast still thinks it's, it's um, still connected and still working so it's still pushing through out through his bum um, so we've done that and obviously you know there was a bit of poo in the way for, of, the, of the dye so yeah you can either go up the bum like I said or it would have went through this hole here and then down through and it would have come out of his bum but it all went really good 15 minutes if that and we're in and out and now we're we're back back home and I just thought I'd like to try and show you how it was done but you know instead of me just talking because I don't I'm still learning and I don't know the proper medical names for them all I got is whole I know this one's called the mucus fistral and this one's the stoma so yeah it was fun hopefully now they'll see if there's any small like any blockages any narrow ends but it's all steps towards him getting close it's getting reversed which you know can be a good thing can be a bad thing this week we've that. also reached another milestone for Kingsley obviously he's a little bit slower with development wise because of the numerous operations and things weakness with his muscles but he is now as you can see managing to sit up on his own um, he started off first of all with wobbling everywhere looking like he was drunk falling over and things but this is really good it means his muscles are doing what they should be in his stomach bless so it's now like quarter past six on Saturday night Michael's already out and um, my mum and my dad are out we're supposed to be going out for my dad's birthday I've only just got home, managed to sort the boys out, give them their tea, physio, nebs. I was supposed to be out at five, um, obviously running a bit behind. This is the struggle. I just want to let people know really that we do have bad days as well as the good days. Um, I'm just slowly picking up the motivation now to try and get in the shower and get dressed to go out because you do deserve some time to yourself as well. Um, but it's just getting the energy to okay, so hangover of the year. We've been to a kids party and we're now in Franklin Benny's about to have some food. We've got our supplies here. Creon, my insulin and Kingsley's Creon in the bag over there. Say hi dads. Hi Cozy. Cozy has had food at his party just now so he's only having something small but he's having chicken nuggets with a chocolate milkshake so he's now taking two tablets. Kingsley has got some mash with um, a pot of food which has only got two grams of fat so Kingsley will be having one scoop with this now. You know, if you've got any other questions, queries, you know, if you just want a general chit chat about things, we are more than happy to help. You can contact us via uh, social media, drop us a message, leave us a comment on YouTube and we'll get back to you.